What are SIDS and LIDS in Las Vegas? Well, that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today I wanted to go over and clarify what a SID and a LID is. A SID stands for Special Improvement District and a LID stands for Local Improvement District. Okay, so that's what it stands for. What does it mean, really? I mean, what are SIDs and LIDs? If you're buying a new home in Las Vegas or Henderson for the first time, chances are you've come across a SID or LID. And if you haven't purchased a new home in the Las Vegas area and you haven't come across this, then you have no clue as to what these guys are, right? SIDS and LIDS are somewhat common in the Las Vegas Valley um, with all the new construction in the area and their fees placed on the property either by the builder or the developer. When the developer builds on unimproved land, the city will install the sewer, the plumbing, the streets, the water hydrants, and lighting. This cost is passed on to the developer who can then choose to pay the city up front and add the cost to the sales price for each home. Or the developer may elect not to pay for those improvements up front. If so, the city will place an assessment on the community as a whole. The assessment is then divided among all the properties in the master plan community and is paid off on a semi-annual basis over a predetermined amount of years, typically around 10 to 20 years to pay off that amount. So the term SIDS is typically more common in the Summerlin area in the northwest part of the valley, where LIDS is typically more common in Henderson and Seven Hills and in Sparata. But they are essentially one and the same, providing the same benefits. SIDS and LIDS are placed on the property and therefore stay with the property and are transferred from homeowner to homeowner once the home is sold and purchased. SIDS and LIDS are different from property tax and function more in a way as HOA fees, meaning that any unpaid SIDS or LIDS can result in your home going into foreclosure. But they are in addition to any HOA dues that your master plan community has. So basically what it means is that the community is paying off a bond or a loan at a fixed interest rate for a set amount of years. However, each homeowner has an option to pay off their SID or LID in full at any time, but there may be a prepayment penalty for doing that. So this is very common in our valley, but as a side note, our property taxes tend to be much lower than anywhere across the country. I get a lot of clients asking me if they should pay off their SID or LID balance, and my answer is no, because if you don't know if you're gonna stay in the home for five years, 10 years or whatever, then you can always pass that balance to the new homeowner. So I highly recommend not paying it off unless it's like $1,000 left, then of course, yeah, paid off. But other than that, um, SIDS and LIDS are very, very common here and a lot of people get confused what they are. So I hope this video has kind of explained in better detail what SIDS and LIDS are and that typically SIDS are in the Summerlin area, Sky Canyon area, some other master plan communities may have them, and then lids are mainly in Henderson. Let me know in the comments what you think of this video and if I explained it well to you guys. <laughs> um, if you're thinking about buying a home here in the Las Vegas Valley, you know, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112, or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. As always, do me a favor, you know what to do, right? Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with a friend, all that jazz. And thank you so much for watching. Cannot wait to see you guys on the next one.